Unit 2. Energy. Lesson 2. Energy transformations. The conservation law of mechanical energy. Conservation law of mechanical energy states that the sum of potential and kinetic energies of an object under the effect of gravity is a constant value. For example, if we have a pendulum which is at rest at B, then we push this pendulum to move to C. At C it has the maximum height from the ground. So at C its potential energy is maximum and its kinetic energy is zero. Its kinetic energy is zero because its velocity is zero. When this pendulum returns back to B, its height becomes zero and its velocity becomes maximum so at B its kinetic energy is maximum and its potential energy is minimum if this pendulum continues its motion to A it reaches again to the maximum height and its velocity becomes zero so at A its potential energy is maximum and its kinetic energy is zero. At any point for the same object under the effect of gravity, potential energy plus kinetic energy is always constant. This is what we call the conservation law of mechanical energy. The second law is conservation law of energy. This law states that Energy is neither created nor destroyed, but it is converted from one form to another. If we have a person who rides a bicycle, his potential energy will increase gradually because his height from the ground is increasing. As he moves down, its potential energy decreases gradually and his kinetic energy increases till it reaches maximum by the end of this height. Examples on energy transformations Lemon battery Let's do the following activity. Bring a lemon and put a coin inside it by the help of a knife. Bring a nail and put it inside the lemon. Connect the nail to the coin with the help of a wire and repeat it with two or three or even four lemons. Connect the first coin with a wire and the last nail with another wire. Connect the two wires to a lamp. You will notice that the lamp will light up. So by this way we converted the chemical energy stored inside the lemon into electric energy. This is the idea of the symbol cell. We can do the same by using potato. Potato battery. We will do the same steps and you will see that the lamp will light up. This is because potato has a salt solution. And as you know that salt solution is a good conductor of electricity. And this salt solution will help to complete the reaction. Energy transformations in the symbol cell. What is the structure of the symbol cell? It consists of two rods, one made of copper and the other is made of zinc. They are put inside sulfuric acid and they are put inside a glass container. If we connected the two rods, the lamp will light up and the electricity will move from positive copper rod into negative zinc rod. Symbol cell, it converts the chemical energy into electric energy. The electric current passes from the positive copper plate to the negative zinc plate. Energy transformation in the electric lamp. It converts the electric energy into light energy.
energy transformations inside the car car engine the chemical energy or fuel will be changed into heat energy inside the car engine then heat energy changes into mechanical energy as you can see the energy generated from the fuel are used to be converted into mechanical energy inside the car engine the second component in car is car dynamo a part of the car mechanical energy will be changed into electric energy by the help of car dynamo this is the image of car dynamo it changes mechanical energy into electric energy the next component is car lamp a part of electric energy changes into light energy in car lamps car radio a part of electric energy changes into sound energy in car radio electric heater or air conditioner a part of electric energy changes into heat energy inside electric heater or air conditioner technological applications on energy transformation the first application is solar cell solar cell converts solar energy into electric energy television television converts electric energy into light and sound energies alarm clock converts chemical energy into kinetic energy and sound energy cellular phone it converts radiant energy or electromagnetic waves into sound and light energies what are the negative effects of technology technology has harms when man uses it in wars and killing massive destruction also technology has negative effect which is environmental pollution examples of some technological applications and their negative effects the first negative effect is car exhaust it causes chemical pollution for air which causes chest and eye diseases military explosions they leave harmful effects and diseases and cause death chemical pesticides they cause chemical pollution for soil water and air and hence cause cancer nuclear weapons they cause the massive destruction the webs of wireless transmitters of cellular phones Networks have harmful effects on people suffering from heart diseases. This is what is called electromagnetic pollution. This is the end of lesson 2. Thanks for watching.